I'm back to Obakala clinic and uh, today, Monday, I've come to see all the staff so to interview them to give you an update of uh, what um, is going on here. Um, I was there last last week and then we are here back to see whether that's an update. So I would like the metro, which I've never met before since I've been coming, to introduce the staff. Metron, can you help us to introduce the staff? Thank you very much. Point of correction, I'm not the metron, I'm the head nurse. I will start by introducing myself first. Yeah, I am Mrs. Florence N. And the person next to me is Mrs. Chioma, and she's the nurse to the colleague. And then the only man among us is our able lab technician, the person of Mr. Obisie Nandu. And then the next person is Mrs. Angela Osuji, staff nurse too. So we are um, six in number. One of our nurses is off duty, and then the security man has the much love here for the hospital. Okay, um, with this six staff, can you say that uh, you cover all the responsibilities in the hospital? No, we don't like our challenges here. Uh, so many. The first one is that you don't have a resident doctor, and you know a hospital without a doctor is hardly you have patients. And then as we all here, we, we, we work like um, we've never done before, like the shifts. We cover almost all the shifts for we to be able to make it up. And then another one is the theater. We don't have any theater. And you know, a hospital without a theater is almost not a hospital because at least we should be able to be doing one or little minor procedures, but it's not possible because of the absence of the doctor. And then our laboratory, well, maybe the lab technician will have to talk on that. Another thing we are lacking here is a good delivery. We don't have good facilities to help us. Like sometimes we refer minor cases to other hospitals. So it's a, it's a big problem. Our store, that is our uh, pharmacy, is empty. If you go there now, you find no drug, not even a positive because no money, nobody to help. To go to the body to cry to and then we have, we have a lot of challenges and it's setting us, it's setting us back. The staffs are not enough, we don't have a cashier, we don't have accountant, we don't have a dispenser, you know, things like that. And we are not doing that. Um, do you have an in house doctor? Sorry, in house doctor. No, no, we don't, we don't, we don't have. What we have is a visiting doctor, but for some time now, he, he went for the course at Kota Cross and he was able to do you have doctors visiting the Kota Cross? I said, I work as a doctor and a nurse. We have been doing it also. Without encouragement from anybody apart from our brother, um, brother Eric, who came in the weekend uh, some months ago to start up the building at the back there, and then Dr. Mazu, who have been calling from time to time, and I this lady, I've been hearing of his name is Janice or whatever. I think these two people have been trying to actually set me this up and doing it. Now, um, I learned that's um, a new building. Do you think that that building is an encouragement to actually improve your facilities? In yeah, a very big encouragement, a very big encouragement indeed because most people have been coming out. Where is the clinic? We had that people are putting up something there and you know, the population of the patients now and the same may have increased a little because of the new building. And of course they have been asking when the clinic will start running fully and 
there is no answer because we don't know anything about it. Yeah, well, I want to say a very big thank you to Auntie Janice, wherever you are. I want you to know that we love you and we always love you for your consign and for your care. May God bless you. And I pray that you continue to remember us both in prayers and in finance. Amen. Thank you very much. Can, uh, can you tell us what to do for the hospital? Just one or two. Especially when we have a case, when we pray and call our living God, He is the most highest doctor that we have in this our hospital. My very self, I'm saying that um, I am not happy because we started here 19th May 1999. Since all along, from that 1999 up to now, there is no much improvement. For my very self, there is no leave allowance paying, there is no leave going. I'm working like a nurse, cleaning, um, messenger, and so far and so on, which is not supposed to be done with us. So I'm trying to let them know that they should help us so that we make well and uh, remember that they are the ones that keep us here. Please, they should help us. Thank you very much. Stand and believe you have two years to say. Especially when you came here a few years ago, a few years ago, explain to you happiness over that new baby, which you will try. Especially as I've been hearing from you before about James, you know. Lord God knows. Trying all of their plans to wise this place, God will replace it in the course. And especially on my own department, uh, it is a, a department where it is the heart of the hospital. Any hospital that has no laboratory, I think it is completely uh, uh, downfall because. It is the generator. But I thank God that things have been happening over there. But it needs more equipment and some other reagents to supply and to add so that at least other investigations should be doing. Especially, as I mentioned that very day, there are other good investigations that can be done to man. It's not been doing here, but at times we, I mean, we sent it out, which is not proper. I believe that we look into it. As far as they have started with the building, other materials that can do that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam. We have any work to say. Thank, Thank you so time. much. The sister in charge has said all. So I, I want to thank God for for our location like. For us to stay and discuss the welfare of this hospital. So, in the sense that the building that they have started, we thank God so much for that. And uh, we, we, we are pleading for them to come and finish up the building so that this hospital will continue to move on. And I want to thank God for. The, on behalf of all of them that contributed through one way or the other in this hospital to help us financially and even to set up the new building. My prayer to them is that, that God will reward them in abundance. Amen. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, she's going to conduct me around, the head nurse is going to conduct me around and then um, we'll get into the new building and uh, see some of the things. This way, pause.